In our last entry, we saved four SVG files from Adobe Illustrator that we want to insert into Word. So here we are in Word, we've just got our cursor somewhere near where we want to put the first image. And we're going to do this just like we would insert a PNG or a JPEG. This is uh, of note is that you need to be using the desktop version of Word. The web-based version of Word does not let you insert SVGs. Also, Google Docs does not let you insert SVGs. So um, there are some crazy, really difficult workarounds to get this to work in Google Docs. Honestly, it's not worth it. In our, my entry, I'll link to some more information if you want to see just why I don't recommend using Google Docs for that. But we're going to insert the SVG just like we would a normal one. As you recall, we called it figure one, figure two, figure three, figure four. And I remember in Adobe Illustrator that we saved it as two inches by two inches, and it came into Word at the right size. If this was a really large image, like six or seven inches or more, Word might shrink it down. So it is worth checking this to make sure, especially because I have to make images a lot that will have text within the image that is a certain specified size, uh, certain font size when it's inserted into Word. So I need to make sure it's coming in at the size I anticipate. So it is good to double check and make sure that's the size you want. In this case it is. And then as with most small figures, I want the text to wrap around it. So we're gonna change this to wrapping around, okay? And if I do that first, before I right click to add my caption, it will make my caption the correct size and I don't have to mess with it. There we go. And um, Word very quickly and easily will make all the text wrapped around, wrap around both my image and the caption. It's worth noting, you cannot do that in Google Docs. There's almost no workaround that is worthwhile for making your um, image go around, making your text wrap around an image with a caption where the caption is still selectable and spell checkable text. So uh, a lot of reasons I don't recommend Google Docs for this. It is a good idea to group your um, image with your caption and that applies to whether it's an SVG image or a JPEG, PNG, doesn't matter. Not only will that make things easier if you're moving text around to pages, but when you save your PDF out of Word, there can sometimes be a problem with the way the PDF is rendered out where images could get separated from their text and then your PDF does not look like your Word document, which is really frustrating. And if you group them, it's much more likely that your PDF is going to look exactly like what you were looking at in Word, which is what we want. So there we go. If we zoom way in on this SVG figure of the number one, it always stays perfectly crisp. And in our next entry, we'll talk about how to save a PDF from Word so that our PDF retains this vector-based crispness, crispness in our SVG files so that our figures look as good as they possibly can in our PDF as well.